Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. This one is a late evening update. Yes, man. So the West Indies A, eh, they were in action today. Day one of the second four-day game against South Africa A. Eh. So we're gonna take a look at how things went. Uh, just give a listening ear, my people. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Also, we want to talk about a game that was played today between Australia and India. Glenn Maxwell, once again, my people, showing that he is on a whole nother level. Boy, the man beat the ball, the man beat the ball. I tell you, my people, just let me know what you all think, especially if you were able to see that India versus um, Australia game. All right, so let us kick things off with the West Indies A versus South Africa A. You could say that Hunters were basically even at the end of day one. 266 for six is what they ended on. 266 for six. South Africa, that is. And they faced 85 overs, right? Bowling for the West Indies A. The Hunters, uh, well, the, 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 the bowling, uh, the wickets were shared. Akim Jordan, he bowled 17 overs, 6 maidens, uh, gave away 30 runs, no wickets. Shamar Joseph, 17 overs, uh, 6 maidens, 39 runs, he picked up 2 wickets. Jair McAllister, he bowled 16 overs, uh, 3 maidens, 64 runs, picked up 2 wickets. Kevin Sinclair, he bowled 16 overs, 53 runs, and he picked up uh, 2 wickets. Abjai Man Singh and Hodge, they bowled 10, 10 and 9 overs respectively. And, um, you know, they weren't able to get any wickets. So, shout out to the bowlers for going out there and getting some work in. I mean, at the end of day one, it would have been nice if we were, if they were at that same 266, uh, about 8 wickets down. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is, my people. Hopefully, these guys, um, the bowlers, can go out there and get them down for 300 or under 300. So, you know, uh, we don't really want them to push too much uh, too, 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 uh, too much further than where they are now. So, 266 um, for 6 is how it is looking. Alright, moving on, but still cricket topic. Jaja, people... Glenn Maxwell once again did the business for Australia. So this game, my people, Australia versus India, T20 game, high scoring game. India made 222 for three in 20 overs and Australia, they chased it down. Yes, man, them run it down, my people couple of centurions in that game so let me go through india's batting card first um guy quad he made 123 of 57 deliveries 13 fours and seven sixes strike rate of 215.79 we would have also seen kishan uh you know he batted he didn't score anything though uh he was removed without scoring jiswal six uh yadav he made 39 he's captain in the team um, uh, Sir Kumar Yadav um, Verma, he made 31 Not out And um, in terms of the bowling for Australia uh, Richardson picked up one wicket Bancroft uh, picked up one And we would have also seen Aaron picking up one wicket Picking up one wicket So three wickets for 222 Is what India um, did Australia, they went in and they won the game off the last, the last ball, right? And that was courtesy of Glenn Maxwell doing the business, my people. 225 for 5 in their 20 overs. And um, let me just go through the batting scorecard here for Australia. Travis Head, he got them off to a good start. He made 35 of 18 with 8 fours. Um... Uh, let me see, a couple of other guys, Aaron made 16 of 12, Just Iglis, he made 10 of 6, and then Glenn Maxwell, he took care of business, 104 of 48 delivers, 
and he had eight fours and eight sixes in that knock. Marcus um, Stoinis, he made 17 of 21. Uh, Tim David, he was removed of a first ball. Matthew Wade, he's captain in the team. He made 28 of 16 not out to help Glenn Maxwell bring it home for Team Australia. Ashdeep Singh picked up one wicket. Bishuni picked up two wickets. And Khan and Patel, Avish Khan and Patel, they picked up a wicket apiece as the Australians were able to get across the line. So shout out to... Um, Shout out to Glenn Maxwell, my people, for playing another bruising innings like that. You understand? It's always good when these guys are able to go out there and to show their work, like their worth like that. You know, we just want to say that um, T20 cricket is here to stay. You understand? The only change you might see is it turning into T10. And, well, they already have T10. I don't know if we're going to have T8 and T5. But T20 cricket is here to stay. It's pretty entertaining. Um, because of T20 cricket, quite a few people are walking away from Test cricket. Well, not only Test cricket, from ODI cricket, and they are starting to say that ODI cricket is irre um, irrelevant. So they are not um, going to spend any time playing that format of the game. But as I said, my people, it's just one of them things. Eh? Um, it's just a pity that with all of these top knocks that we are seeing, we are not seeing any from our um, players, our West Indies players, but. Um, cricket is cricket and once you love cricket you're gonna uh, appreciate any sort of good performance like that So I just want to say shout out to them uh, Imagine the World Cup is gonna be in the Caribbean next year The good thing is we are hosting um, or we're joint host So we, it's not like we have to worry about qualify So we might see some of these outstanding batting in the Caribbean next year you know, talking about um, the the the, the, C, uh, the the World Cup next year, I am hoping that you know, well, uh, we didn't see a lot of youngsters pushing through uh, pushing through in the CPL, but I'm hoping that we will be able to find a good team where we can give a good account of ourselves. We don't want to be a, we don't want it to be a case where it's um, the World Cup in the Caribbean and we are not even able to get out of the group stages. You understand? It might sound away to my people, but it's not impossible. You understand? It might sound away, but it's not impossible. Because at the end of the day, nobody's out there giving away free passes or anything like that. So, you know, I, ju I am just hoping that the guys are using, um, they are using all of this as, uh, as motivation to say that, listen, the World Cup is going to be in our backyard. People are putting up these sort of scores. So we need to try and see if we can um, get our act together and um, put on a show for the people in the Caribbean. I mean, the director of West Indies Cricket and the selectors, they said that they have a plan working on. So we are hoping that, you know, all of these plans will come, well, all, this plan will come together and it will be in such a way where the Caribbean people will be proud next year when we are hosting the World Cup. That is pretty much it, my people. We're going to leave this one right here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Big up.